Now, from the Ford Sports Desk, KOMU 8 Sports. Welcome back, everyone. The Tigers are back in the top 25 for the first time since September of 2011. The Georgia Bulldogs will try to make it one and done for the Tigers in the AP poll, who are the number seven team in the country with a 4-1 record. Their loss came to Clemson in the first week of the season. And while the Bulldogs are shorthanded with injuries, Missouri knows there's a reason why they're a top 10 team. You know, they got good athletes, and they might be a little less experienced in some ways, but you know, I think they got good depth. And it has a lot to do with your depth at the position that you're, that you're if you happen to have great depth at a place that uh, you're getting the injuries, then, uh, you know, it, it's not going to hurt you as much. If your depth isn't as good, then obviously it's going to be a little bit more difficult. But uh, I think having an experienced quarterback, I think Murray's such a, he's a heck of a player, and he'll help that whole situation for him. The main thing is not overlooking them because of the injuries. I mean, they're still a great football team, and, and that's really what the seniors and captains are going to talk about this week. We know they're a power offense, and they're pretty good, and they got Aaron Murray, but we've just been watching film on them. We're going to go hard during the week, and by Saturday we'll be ready to, to play against them. Georgia definitely had its trouble with Tennessee on Saturday, only winning by seven points in overtime. The Dogs are battling injuries and to, some, to some key players. And today, Mark Wright announced that star running back Todd Gurley is doubtful for this week's game, adding to the list of injuries for the Dogs. Running back Keith Marshall and wide receivers Justin, Justin Scott Weasley and Michael Bennett are all out for this game and possibly the season. If Gurley is out, Georgia will be missing half of its total offensive production this season in 11 of its 25 touchdowns. After a one-hit performance from St. Louis's youngest pitchers yesterday, the Pittsburgh Pirates are starting rookie pitcher Jarrett Cole tomorrow in a win-or-go-home game five. The Cardinals improved to 7-1 in the, in the last two seasons when facing elimination. Start time for tomorrow's game is 7.07 Central Time and will feature Adam Wainwright throwing for the cards against Garrett Cole, who got the win in game two for Pittsburgh. We're going to go out to Comerica Park in Detroit, game four of the ALDS, top five. Oakland already on the board. Jed Lowry sends a home run past Torrey Hunter. And then Tigers respond with a home run of, for the, their, themselves. Johnny Peralta, Jacks went to left. And here comes Mizzou alum Max Scherzer making a rare relief appearance. He loads the bases in the eighth inning just to make it dramatic. He took Josh Reddick to the bench. And then next up, Steven Vogt take a seat with Josh Reddick. Two down in the inning. And to get the last out, Alberto Callaspo. He sends a drive to center. It's caught. Max Scherzer pitched two innings of relief and gave up three hits, one rung, and struck out two. He got the win, and he's 2-0 in this postseason. He's 2-0 in this postseason. He was in line for the start for the Tigers, but that's up for debate. That's all for sports. We'll be right back.